The atoms of the elements increase in mass as you progress from left to right, starting with hydrogen, and downwards in the periodic table. For example, an atom of hydrogen has less mass than an atom of sodium. Each element has an atomic number. This tells you how many protons it contains. The atomic number increases by one with every element. Each element has a mass number. This tells you how many protons and neutrons each atom in the element has in total. Protons have a positive charge. Electrons have a negative charge. An atom has no overall charge because the number of protons is the same as the number of electrons. Let's take a look at the metal lithium as an example. Lithium, metal. Atomic number, three. Mass number, Wasner, seven. Number of protons, Jason three. Number of electrons, Zars 3, 3, Li lithium, 7. The atomic number tells you how many protons there are. The mass number tells you how many protons plus neutrons there are. Number of neutrons. The mass number tells you that for lithium, the number of protons and neutrons is 7. We know that there are 3 protons, so we can work out that there are 4 neutrons. The higher the mass number, the more mass the atom has. Hydrogen has an atomic mass of 1. Carbon has an atomic mass of 12. So one atom of carbon has 12 times more mass than one atom of hydrogen. Let's compare the mass of a piece of sodium measuring 1 cn cm hour 3 with the mass of a piece of iron measuring 1 cn cm hour 3. The mass of the piece of sodium is 0.97 gry, and the mass of the piece of iron is 7.87 gry. The mass of the iron is more than the mass of the sodium. This measure of the mass for a fixed volume of a substance is called the density. The density is given using the unit GCCM3. The density of iron is 7.87 GCCM3 and that of sodium 0.97 GCCM3. So iron is more dense than sodium. Arranging electrons. You learnt about the development of a model for the structure of the atom. This used ideas from a number of scientists such as J.J. Thompson and Ernest Rutherford they developed the model shown here. In 1913, the Danish scientist Niels Bohr developed Rutherford's model of the atom further. He had the idea and evidence that the electrons move in different electron shells, also called energy levels, around the nucleus. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for his work. His idea changed the model of the structure of the atom we use today. The electrons are arranged in electron shells around the nucleus. This is the electronic structure. The first electron shell only has room for two electrons. The second and third electron shells have room for up to eight electrons. The crosses represent the electrons. Remember that the electrons are held in place by electrostatic forces. What is the atomic number of lithium? How many protons does carbon have? What charge do electrons have? How many electrons can the first shell hold? developed the electron shell model? What is the mass number of lithium? How many neutrons does lithium have? What is the charge of protons? How many electrons does lithium have? What is the atomic mass of hydrogen?
What increases by 1 with each element? What holds electrons in place? How many electrons can the second shell hold? Who proposed the plum pudding model? What is the mass number of carbon? What is the charge of an atom? What did Rutherford discover? How many protons does hydrogen have? What is the electronic structure? What did Bo receive a Nobel Prize for?